and I am bringing you episode 3. Episode 3, Hell is Empty. I had to make sure that was right. But let's see what we can get into. We're going to finish up the game, probably. <coughs> move on. We're going to move on. Previously, on let's, Life is Strange Before the Storm. Let's see what I did. I felt like my dad been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. <laughs> there is plenty of blame to go around. What does that mean? You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. <coughs> Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Whatever you do, don't open the door. Oh, I want my fucking money! Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. No fucking chance! I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere That was a good scene, what guys. What that to my most hopeful wish? Yes. Out of... Let's leave. And now nah, this scene was even For better. For real, if you don't mean this, Nah, this scene was like the tippy top of the game. It's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. What would it take to convince you? A kiss. <laughs> oh, Why shit. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Man, up and downs in this Rachel. game, bro. That woman you saw. Man, we need to get Life is Strange too, bro. That wasn't my mistress. That was your mom, bro. That was your mother. But she doesn't even look surprised. I thought that was her mom. Okay, let's just listen in. Not unless he lied. I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure <coughs> Chloe should be here for- Chloe stays. <gasps> Jeez, okay, she's really attached. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. Uh, I think but the this truth is more of a can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Yeah. I'm ready. I've been excited to bring you this. Dude, I need to play Detroit and bring that to the channel, bro. Detroit. You guys know it. Chloe. Man, I'm here. I'm right here. Good. I need you. Bro, what the fuck's going on, bro? in high school there was one person everyone adored her teachers her friends Sarah was everyone's favorite every boy wanted to date her I could barely believe it when she picked me sometimes I think that's what kept me blind for so long She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, 
careers, families. Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. From what? When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. <laughs> Becoming your father is the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. Okay. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. Oh, For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. Yeah. That no matter what happened, She would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Shit, shit's getting deep. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone or anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. I didn't know what to do. So I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again. And again and again to keep you safe. Oh. Whew, that was... So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. You think you have the right to decide that for her? When I left Sarah, when I took Rachel away, I truly believe I saved her life. And I will continue to protect her no matter what. But maybe she's different now. Maybe people change, right? Maybe so. 
But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. Sorry. Stairs to go confront Rachel, bro. What is this shit? Come on, man. <clears throat> I feel like there's gonna be three parts to this episode three, but we're gonna just see how it goes. This is Rachel's room. Show Rachel that I'm here for her. Where's the glue, bro? The, he said there's a there's a glue. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. It will. There's confetti. Alright guys, confetti number 21. Place. On the red platinum. Something Rachel said. On stage, I think Rachel said. She's probably like, what the fuck, bitch, why are you waiting on my map? I've been pissed at someone right on my map. Oh, she said that in the play, I think. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes. But it still seems hard to believe. Oh. Oh, no, not all. Oh, he killed her. What the fuck? Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Let's see if Oh, she's gonna give her a rose. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Be here for Rachel. Bro, how? What's in this emergency kit, bro? What the fuck? No, that's for her. Why am I gonna take the flashlight, bro? Does it? Why the flashlight? Mom. Chloe, I'm leaving the door unlocked in case you don't have your key. Please come home. Doesn't matter that it's after curfew. Oh, Mom, I fucking can't right now. Leave me alone. The Ying and Hadass Yang of Machiavelli. Rachel Amber. Before I'll be on Machiavelli. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Mm -mm. 
pause the video and read that. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so. What's that? That's <sighs> sick. This light needs more light. Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Yeah, she does. I feel bad for Rachel. I could get grades like this. My I just eyes. don't want to. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her. Oh, the flashlight. Like, I was tripping. I was like, where do I put this thing? No, Rachel, we're getting ready to brighten up something, baby. Ah. Does it screw? All ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. What's happening? I'm gonna do some stars for Rachel, guys. Shit. Hey. Check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Because we're blinded by what's in front of us. <laughs> exactly. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? <laughs> I don't know. If they're not even real, then, what's the point? <laughs> Shit, she's so upset. It's all she... lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. <laughs> My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. Rachel. And that other woman. My real mom. She's the biggest lie of all. Rachel. <laughs> I can't trust any of them. I think you're her the only uh, one in the world I can trust. Earrings going for her neck, I think. I'm just gonna say I'm on it. I'll take it. Even if it's only by process of elimination. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Mm. Hey. I wore this bracelet my entire life. Yeah. I never even asked why. Never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that. My real mother was gone.
the fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? No. Of course not. But it, it might be tough to track her down. Yeah. That's true. Luckily, I've got my secret weapon. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. I think I know what to do. I'll call Frank and get him to connect us to her. You do that? I'll give it a shot. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. I think I might be able to fix up that truck in the junkyard. <laughs> really? I'll give it my best. I know you will. But even if we find her, how will I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I didn't know how to keep talking to him. I still don't. But it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he's there. Your dad? In my dreams, he's there. And it's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. That was very somatic. I don't know if we'll be able to get graffiti number 22 because it was still in Rachel's room on top of her laptop. Jesus, what the fuck is going on now, dude? do it wrong that was one time when are you going to let it go remember when we used to work on cars together those are some of my favorite memories don't you mean my memories I don't think you remember after you're dead <laughs> touche All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What 
the fuck? Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? No. Fine. It's the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's... It's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage. So might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights, sound effects. Chloe, look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. The fuck? Dad! Jesus. The fuck? What the hell? This episode. Who <laughs> was that at the end that said boo? That was fucking emotional. Huh? He said boo, what the fuck was that? Uh. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? Doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. Eager much? Where's the money? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? Yeah. Me in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking 
money. <laughs> <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You were real. Not if I worry about his. <laughs> well, he won his grain, bro. I guess. Hey, maybe fucking Damon, dude. What am I getting myself into? Yeah, we missed the uh, graffiti 22, but we'll get it. We'll get it in collector's mode. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we go. So we're just gonna skip that one. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Alright, so the left side, draw the graffiti on it, left side. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Draw a picture on the left side. There it is, there it is. What do I want the record to show? So this one is 23. And we're getting ready to do graffiti number 24. The sudden and mysterious absence of Chloe Price. Let's go out because we really don't need to stay in here for anything. And we go into her mom's room, in her bedroom. Is mom playing music? Hmm. Huh. Fucked her right there, man. The fucking her drug dude. Fucking bitch, they're not fucked with me, bro. Where's the calendar? That's what you get for drugging Rachel, bro. Shit. David really is moving in. That's bullshit. Where the fuck is this bitch's calendar? Here it is. So Sports this is cars 24, are really good graffiti for 24. Hitting on chicks. Alright, let's go take a shower. Is that David's towel? <laughs> Where the hell is mine? It should got thrown out. <laughs> okay, my towel. No awesome pirate towel. Lots of washcloths. No towel. No way, she's not gonna dye her hair blue. If she dyes her hair blue this episode, bro. For the best shower. Bro, if life. she dyes her hair blue, bro, 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 if she dyes her hair blue. Bro, that means the event wasn't that far. Bro, I think she's gonna dye her hair. 
Now I'll have to get somatic in the shower, bro. This is the first time I see Steak in the shower all the whole series. I don't think she's gonna dye her hair blue. I'm fucking around. Okay, highlight's good enough for me. A highlight's good enough. Okay. Copy. Right in. Alright, you know. Bruh. Carl Williams closed down the steps. What do I feel like wearing on this easy ass thing? I'm wearing the dragon! The dragon! Guesses. No, Chen, leave that, dude. Dude, I I want the dragon. All right, one last thing. That bitch is fire. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. In the garage. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. Yes, not unless he... Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that. Uh, hopefully nobody gets involved with me. What if David, like, killed her or something? <laughs> not like Here that. Goes. Junkyard. <laughs> okay, the next one's at the junkyard. I don't know if film's getting ready to end or not, but I might have to start a new film. But this one might be... <laughs> it's not... I feel like it's not going to be too long. <laughs> I'm flipping them over. <laughs> not yet, I told you. Three minutes each side. They're gonna burn. Oh, you're the expert now. I can't stand it. I'm telling you, it'll make a mess. <laughs> 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 You know, you don't have to make me breakfast. I'd settle for flowers. You cook all the time. I want you to have a break at home. <laughs> you are one class act, David Madsen. <laughs> Mom actually looks pretty happy right now. <sighs> so shit. Let's leave. We can't be standing here. Hey, who's there? Hey. Chloe, your hair. When did you... Was this for the play? I heard you performed last night. Nope. I mean, I, I did. But this is... Uh, is something different. None of that matters now. Oh, I am so glad to see you. I gotta go. Good to see you, Chloe. Coming home was a smart decision. But I gotta... I gotta go. I'm... I'm not staying long. Just... <laughs> picking up some stuff. Oh. Are you coming home tonight? Mom, I... I don't know. 
I wish you would tell me what you're up to. I'm... I'm just hanging out with Rachel. Oh, how is Rachel? I was telling David about the play and you being in it. I really gotta go. Listen, wait. Before you go, David has something to say to you. It won't take but a minute. Mom. I don't think this is the best idea. You already promised. <sighs> Chloe, I've made <laughs> an agreement with your mother know video that is. to trust you from now on. <laughs> Really? What does that mean? It means that from today forward, I'm going to take you at your word. Okay. So, if you say you haven't been smoking or drinking, then I'll just leave you be. Even though she had pot yesterday. David, <laughs> the idea is you should feel comfortable here, Chloe. David's not going to question you, and neither am I. Well, this sounds like it's doomed to fail, but hey, kudos for trying. Chloe. What? I really meant it. Good job. Can we be done now? I gotta go. Bruh, Wait. I gotta... One second. Don't go, Chloe. I've been... Meaning to show you something. What is that? Maybe. Maybe now's a good time. Are we getting ready to get somatic? This. is my friend Phil Becker. We served in the same unit. Two tours. Yeah. Becker was. killed. near the end of our deployment. Roadside IED. We used to joke about all the trouble we were going to get into once we got back home. But he died. He died, and I didn't. And I think about that fact every damn day. The point is, I've had my share of grief. I know what you're going through. So I guess what I'm saying is, I'm here to do what, whatever I can to help you get over the loss of your dad. Please, I'm begging you, give David a chance, won't you? Here. Why don't you keep this photo for a little while? Uh, think about what I've said. David looks so young. And this Phil guy, they look close. Thank you, David. Oh, Chloe. Mom. I'm just so proud of you both. Mom, I really need to go. Be careful out there, Chloe. I love you, sweetheart. All right, 
All right. What the hell? <laughs> Just gotta grab dad's toolbox and then get out of here quick. <laughs> What's the matter, David? Don't want any more decorations inside your toolbox? good all right i'm gonna end this because i think the film's going but we'll see you in the next part part two episode three See you guys there, man. <laughs> like it's been a very somatic chapter, but I'll watch you guys. Later.